Located in the heart of downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Providence Healthcare Research Institute is the research arm of Providence Healthcare. Providence Healthcare provides high quality, compassionate healthcare to patients and residents from around British Columbia. The Institute's main academic affiliation is with the University of British Columbia. The Research Institute was established in 2005 principally to be able to um, shine a brighter light on all of the tremendous research being done across Providence Healthcare. Uh, the Research Institute was to further uh, partnerships with outside organizations and groupings and it was also created to help researchers uh, by providing better services for them. The Providence Research Institute's mission, pursuing real-life health solutions, drives our research in seeking health discoveries that can improve the health of people locally, nationally, and internationally. In this healthcare setting, the integration of research, education, and care is what makes our mission a possibility. One of the Research Institute's mandates is to create a broad-based culture of inquiry and promote evidence-based care across Providence Healthcare's programs, which includes strengthening research conducted by all health professionals. I think the overall absolute goal is to improve patient outcomes. There are so many nurses at the point of care, thousands, we're the most numerous health profession, and because the nurse at the point of care sees the patient, she or he are the ones who are naturally going to have the most practice relevant research ideas. The Institute's research centers and emerging areas of research are aligned with the major areas of healthcare activity of Providence Healthcare the Institute for Heart and Lung Health. In 2008, Providence Healthcare Research Institute established the Providence Heart and Lung Institute at St. Paul's Hospital to unite all of Providence's heart and lung research, education and care programs under one umbrella. In 2010, the Providence Heart and Lung Institute partnered with the Center for Lung Health and other community groups to form the Institute for Heart and Lung Health bringing together experts in heart and lung research and care from across several British Columbia organizations. The personal, social, medical and economic burden of heart and uh, lung diseases is absolutely massive and the projection by the World Health Organization in terms of importance is that unfortunately these burdens are not going away and therefore we, we need new approaches and the only way we're going to get those is through the kind of work that's being done collectively within Providence uh, on both of those uh, large burdens. The British Columbia Centre for Excellence in HIV AIDS is dedicated to improving the health of British Columbians with HIV through the development ongoing monitoring and dissemination of comprehensive research and treatment programs for HIV-related diseases. The tools for us to deal with HIV today are there. We have actually uh, developed a very clear map of where and how to go uh, if we really want to control HIV. We're doing it. And the issue for me is to demonstrate how far we can push HIV back, both in terms of morbidity, mortality, and transmission, with the knowledge that we already have. In other words, uh, my, my focus uh, today is on the uh, science of implementation. The Center for Health Evaluation and Outcome Sciences is an interdisciplinary research collective that pursues excellence through the evaluation, interpretation, and communication of health outcome research. CHAOS has two roles, supporting clinical research throughout Providence with services such as research design, grant preparation, statistical support and database design, and conducting research, mainly in the areas of mental health, addiction, and urban health. We use many different kinds of tools that measure patient quality of life. They measure patient satisfaction with the hospital encounter. And we also have models that look at the cost of providing care within the hospitals. So there's a big knowledge translation role that the work we do plays that can be used by governments and ministries to inform their decision-making on allocation of healthcare resources. 
One of the Institute's emerging areas of research is addiction research. Under the leadership of Dr. Michael Krauss, Providence Healthcare BC Leadership Chair in Addiction Research, Providence's addiction research focuses on the treatment of addicted individuals, many of who are living with hepatitis C and HIV, and the understanding of the comorbidity of addictions and severe mental illness. Uh, the face of homelessness is really changing. And it's a variety of, uh, of, of reasons people became homeless. But the major reason is, uh, here in Vancouver, but also elsewhere, is mental, mental health, mental illness issues, so uh, addiction. 25% of the burden of disease is due to mental health and addiction. Probably 3 to 5% of the funding goes to mental health and addiction. So then we need to make uh, mental health and addiction a priority in our healthcare system and starting with Providence. The Center for Healthy Aging at Providence undertakes research to illuminate poorly understood areas of elder care. Based within a health care setting at one of our residential sites, CHAP develops practical solutions for improving delivery of care for older British Columbians. The goals are to identify research questions and try and get some reasonable answers to those and then through those answers translate the knowledge into improved health care for older persons. Sometimes it can be as simple as uh, being able to measure the outcome of taking medications. Often we're looking for a change in behavior or a change in function it, as a marker of something important going on with that individual and so the staff and family members have to work together to try and see if one of these changes occurs and, and what it means. The Center for Practitioner Renewal focuses its research on understanding the nature and effects of risk and resilience factors in the healthcare workplace. The Center for Practitioner Renewal bases its research on the belief that unbalanced healthcare providers are unable to provide high quality patient care. We know now whether it's in healthcare or it's first responders or it's in the military, uh, our work affects us. And the fact that this organization is saying we want to know how it affects us, we want to address and intervene when possible and ultimately also prevent some of those psychological wounds or psychological injuries and how might we do that. It's exciting just to be part of a team of people that's looking at that and an organization that supports it. And if people have positive attitudes, if they're psychologically well, and if they also have positive and strong relationships with each other, it will definitely affect uh, the patients uh, that they provide care for as well as for the patient's families. We are proud of our growth and achievements to date. Research funding has continued to grow year after year. We continue to attract and retain world-leading principal investigators, research trainees, technical and IT staff, and coordinators. Uh, there are great opportunities as new innovations are discovered uh, for us to now translate those innovations. And in an uh, institute such as Providence Healthcare that really has world-class uh, clinical and basic science capabilities, um, the exciting opportunity to truly now translate novel and innovative therapies, novel and innovative diagnostics in a clinical setting, uh, I think is a very, very exciting opportunity for all of us um, practicing medicine in, uh, in this uh, fine institute. <laughs>